for the last two months, I've been staying in Charm at my friend's place. His place is a fucking nightmare. Pardon me for my profanity. But, you know, I thought initially when I got the place from him, I thought it was a quiet place. But those sons of whore humping bitches, they, I mean, those are the society parasites, you know, they, they're not only uneducated, uncouth, uncultured, uncivilized, they are born below parasite itself. They don't wear their shirts, they smell, and they ride their dirty bikes, you know, with modified exhaust. God damn it, they just go up and down, up and down, right up and down my house. And they look at my car, they look like they want to come in and rob me and, 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 and eat me up and things like that, you know. I met people who are living below poverty lines, but I've never met scumbags like that, douchebags of societies like that. They are, they are spawned lower than the parasites of this world, I tell you honestly. Not one single cute girl, not one single cute guy, they are all disgusting, big, fat, belly punch black and hair they have hair like pubic hair growing on their head and the women are so obnoxiously disgusting she literally wait for me to come up from my house and she ride the bike right past on me now i'm back here at my own place i cannot live there anymore i'm just about to go crazy the toilet is so dirty i i left my cat there and then it disappeared on me I should have left my cat here at my this place and at least I don't have to suffer the atrocity. <sighs> it's nice to be back again. I just could not breathe anymore. I had a big quarrel with my friend because he told me that, oh, you said that, you know, as long as it's quiet and, you know, even though it's a bit scruffy, you don't mind. But I told him, it's not only scruffy, the place but it is damn bloody goddamn noisy the people you know uh, look at this I'm just so sick and tired right now I can die let me turn on the lights for you This is my guest bathroom. Look how quiet it is compared to the one I stay. Oh my goodness, that was like sleeping on the roadside. The sons of whore humping bitches, they were like, really, dude. All they do in their pathetic excuse of a life is riding the bike up and down, up and down. They don't work, they can't, they can't read, they can't ride. Can't put a proper sentence of tie across. This is my bedroom. Oh, it's been such a long time. I'm just so tired right now. I don't know what else to do. I was so angry, angry with my friend. He set up my house for me. He never tell me about all this. He just said, oh, it's going to be a bit noisy. You know, no problem. You can handle it. No problem. No problem. Losing the cat is one thing. Losing your peace of mind is another thing. I am, I'm wearing down very much now. I don't know what else to do. This is the master bedroom. Actually, this is much quieter. 
because uh, the windows are facing there and I do like this place much better it's much more conducive for me and uh, it's very my favorite pens and uh, I just have to do everything again. Shower room, pedestal pan, look at the space I have, and the top. So which one do you like? You prefer the private pool villa of mine, or you prefer this place? Which has more exclusivity? Both are the same, they have two bedrooms, two beds. Oh. What is life? Life is giving up everything in order to be what you want. I don't know, I'm just tired. lie down I want to eat something god damn it I want to eat pizza I want to eat pizza chicken wings rice you know what I'm saying I just want to eat a lot you know just eat and eat and eat this is my own dressing table my own office space Smile. Okay. See you guys. Take care. Bye.